dear students today we are going to learn about copy command and we will be drawing three boxes over here to draw front view top view and left hand side view for this given object so let us first identify total length width and height of the object so the total length of the object is 75 plus this radius of the semicircle 50 that is 125 and the distance over here for 10 millimeter that will be 135 so length over here is 135 and height of the object is let's say we have 80 till the top surface of the base plate and between center line so 80 is over here plus the radius of the outer cylinder that is 35 since the diameter is 70 and the height of the base plate is 20 so it will make 80 plus 20 100 plus 35 will make it 135 so over here length and height they both are 135 and the width of the object is 100 since the radius of the semicircular section is 50 so let us draw three boxes over here using length 135, height 135 and width 100. So how to use copy command and draw these boxes. First, since we are supposed to modify something, we will be going to modify menu. We have drawn a line and we are going to copy this. So we will be going to modify, copy command and look at your command line what it is asking for it is asking for select objects so let us select the object which we want to copy i have selected an object but still it is asking for select object because the software doesn't know how many objects you want to copy so you need to inform to the software that my object selection is done that you can do by either pressing spacebar or enter key from the keyboard. So now look, after giving the input that my object selection is done by pressing enter, further requirement is specify base point. So over here, what you can do is, you can select any one of the point as a base point and you can copy it wherever you want like this. So I had taken the top point of that line as my base point and now the command line that means the software is asking for the second point where you want to copy. So let's say I want to copy it over here on the midpoint. So I'll be selecting on the midpoint. Let's say I want to copy it over here anywhere randomly. I'm clicking it over there so it will get copied. This is one of the way to give the base point. That means I have started or I have selected my base point over here and from there I copied it thrice. Now if you see this on the command line, when we give the command of copy, copy mode equals to multiple. That means it will keep on copying multiple times, multiple times. Now, Let's see the other way to use your base point. Again, modify, copy, select object, enter. That means informing the software that my object selection is done. And now again it is asking me for the base point. So randomly I am just clicking over here, dragging my mouse in the direction I want to copy. And now again it is asking for specify second point. So instead of clicking again, I will be pressing the required distance. That means right now I am giving the distance as a 20. So out of my entire page at a distance of 20, by keeping the gap of 20, I will be starting my front view over here. Similarly, I want to keep the gap of 20 from the top side also. So I will be selecting this object as the source object that means modify, copy, object selection, enter 
any random point as a base point dragging in the direction you want to copy using the distance at what you want to copy and pressing the escape key on the keyboard will take you out of the command now further let's see how you can draw using the same command multiple times or in a single time you can draw your boxes over here so first let us understand little bit about orthographic positions here we want to plot our front view then we will be having the gap of 20 over here and then again we will be having our left hand side view over here so in total i want length distance over here gap of 20 and then width distance over here so that you can do in a single attempt by copying this line multiple times so let's see how to do it modify copy command object selection pressing enter selecting base point dragging the mouse in the direction you want to copy first i want my line to be at a distance of length that is equals to 135 enter then i want my line to be copied again at a distance of 20 from the front view but since my source object is this this is the source object i'll be entering 155 so 135 will be the length plus 20 is the gap and now again i want my width line end of the width line that means end of the my side view box uh, so width is 100 so from the source object i will be copying it at a distance of 255 escape coming out of the command command let me explain it again see i have taken this as my length that is 135 this as the gap of 20 and this as the width of my side view but since i have selected this line as a source line to copy i have taken this distance as 135 then for this line from here i will be taking 155 because 135 is the length and then 20 is the gap so 135 from this source plus 20 will make it 155 and then i want to go with the width over here so total width is 100 so i want a distance of 100 over here but what will be the distance from the source line so this will be 135 plus 20 155 plus 100 will be 255 so i have copied this line at a distance of 255 same way you can draw your end of the front view over here start of the top view and end of the top view you need to check the distances over here so first of all your height will be height is 135 height will be marked over here in the front view then the gap of 20 that is again 155 and the width over here and that will be again 255 so let us copy this line modify copy select object enter selecting base point randomly dragging in the direction you want to copy then giving the distance as 135 then 155 then 255 and then coming out of the command so this way we have drawn the boxes for front view top view and left hand side view but look over here we have lines which we don't want or lines are extended out of our boxes if you want to remove those extra lines what you can do so let us learn trim command how to use that trim command so something is drawn and you want to modify that that means you are supposed to go into modify menu we have a command that is trim now the moment you give the command look at the command line select cutting edges fine so over here we will be selecting the cutting edges for example i want to remove this four lines but for all this four lines this edge will be the cutting edge so i'm selecting a cutting edge again 
still command line is asking me for select object i need to inform the software that my cutting edge select selection is done so pressing enter now pressing enter will turn this select object to trim now the software is asking me to trim or to select the object which you want to trim that means i want to trim this line i'll be selecting it then i want to select this line since that is also supposed to be trim but what if what i can do is i can select all three at a time and i can trim them so with this as a cutting edge i can remove this three lines similarly let us remove this four lines over here now for all this four lines now for all this four lines we will be having this as a cutting edge so again modify trim select cutting edges over here select object for cutting edges that means i'm selecting this object as my cutting edge informing by pressing and enter that my object selection for cutting edge is done now it is asking me select object to trim so now i'll be selecting this line this line and this line which i want to trim fine similarly you can do for the two other sides this will this is the basic way to use trim command let us learn how to use your trim command faster than this now what you can do is type tr on the command line enter enter you need to press enter or space bar twice after writing tr now you don't need to select any cutting edge over here directly you can use this trim trim or software automatically will choose the cutting edge like this we can do it like this very fast let us see the trim command again which is the fastest one basic we have seen using modify trim cutting edge selection and then object to trim now let us learn that fastest way again typing tr double space or double time enter no need to select your cutting edge software will automatically select the cutting edge you can just remove it like this very fast and you can keep your three boxes ready for drawing your orthographic projection that's it so this way we can use our copy command and trim command to make our boxes to draw front view top view and side view in other next video lecture we'll see how to draw its front view top view and side view thank you